16 competitors, two brackets, only one will stand victorious. This is the PWA Premiership. Welcome back everybody to the PWA Premiership live on OVO Play. We hope you had a great Christmas and a fantastic New Year's. My name's Andrew Rose, with me my co-host Chris Gale. Chris, how was your break? Well, I assume your gift's in the mail, Rose. Oh yeah, nice. Uh, Merry Christmas everybody, Happy New Year. So great after a little bit of a break to be back here at the PWA Premiership round six. Chris, I don't know if you can believe it, but I think I've actually put on even more weight in the break. Well, uh, you are the personification of the words food coma, my friend. We are so excited to be back with the Premiership. We are really at the pointy end of this tournament now, and it's getting really hot at the top of this table. Tonight, we're going back into Block A. If we take a quick look at where we sit in the scoreboard, Mick Moretti, Unsocial Jordan, and Sam Osborne all sitting at eight points at the top of Block A. It is hotly contested up there. Right behind them on seven points is Charlie Evans. Paris De Silva on four, Kai Drake on three points, William Preston on two, and Kingsley still yet to score. We have many questions to be answered. Let's go down to the ring now for our first match. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. And we'll have a 10 minute time limit. Introducing first. Chris, how good is it to be back in the Pro Wrestling Academy after a break and we're back with the Premiership. This is exciting Making stuff. Making way to the ring from Sydney, Australia, Kingsley. Chris, if anyone's had a more interesting journey so far in this tournament, I'd like to hear about it because Kingsley has gone through some turmoils and she is still determined to get some points in Block A. It's a new year, Rose. Surely these are new beginnings for Kingsley and a chance to break that duck's egg. And her opponent. Making his way to the ring from the App Store, the leader of SMS, Unsocial Jordan. Chris, here is a man who has used his IQ so well in this Premiership tournament. He is sitting at the top of Block A and he wants to continue. Oh, look how Kingsley, out of nowhere, is starting this one fast. Oh my goodness, Kingsley has just gone straight up to Unsocial Jordan. He wasn't expecting it. I certainly was not expecting that out of Kingsley, and she might have snapped over the Christmas break. I think Kingsley was unable to return some gifts over the break, Rose, and she is furious, and Unsocial Jordan is hearing all about it. My goodness, well, think about how much she has been stewing, sitting at home with the family, waiting to get back in this premiership, and she is hungry, and she has gone straight after Unsocial Jordan before he's even gotten in the ring. And Jordan is trying to end this 
but Kingsley is on fire. She's going after his legs. Oh, the stomp right on the ankle there by Kingsley. This is a side of Kingsley I don't think I've seen before. I'm so sure Jordan struggling to put weight on that left leg already. Referee Nick there smartly getting the tripod out of the way. We know what Jordan can do with that. Jeez, look at these blows by Kingsley, Chris. She is going off. I'm so sure Jordan has just got himself into a whole mess of trouble here, Rose, and he really wasn't ready for it. These kicks by Kingsley straight into the chest of Jordan. I have not seen unsocial Jordan in this much trouble this quickly. Here's a pin, two. And a kick out of two by unsocial Jordan. Chris, this is amazing start by Kingsley in this match. We're only, we're only a couple minutes in. And again, she goes after that ankle. She has a game plan. And so far it is working. I think we'd all like to really see Kingsley get some points in this premiership. She was being determined from the start, but this is a fire that I think I want to see from Kingsley to get points. I don't think she's been thinking about anything else but this match, Rose, and how she can establish herself and continue Ooh. on that pathway to become part of the Red Nation. She definitely has a mission. Here's a pin and another kick out of two by Unsocial Jordan, but this is putting pain on his leg. He is stunned. I'm going to say he's stunned right now. Shocked and stunned. I'm prepared to say that. Shocked and stunned. Kingsley once again taking control of Jordan in the middle of the ring. Referee Nick asking if Jordan taps. He does. He's back to his feet. A great show of strength there by Jordan. Unsocial Jordan, what an incredible premiership he's had so far, Chris. Well, as he was pointing out that he was co-leader, as uh, then Kingsley addressed him from behind in uh, no uncertain terms, Rose. But uh, he's back on his feet now. He's a little unsteady. George Akin coming from Jordan now as he starts to get some momentum back in this match. But Kingsley once again fighting out of everything that Jordan's doing it dangerous going for a superplex here but Kingsley underneath wow trying to German Jordan off the top Jordan grabs the ropes look at this just can't get the purchase she needs right so she just decides to punch his knee yet again well it's been working so far wow the damage on that left leg of unsocial Jordan this could roll into further into this premiership here's a pin Going to kick out a two by Unsocial Jordan. I tell you, I tell you what, Rose. Unsocial Jordan's New Year's resolution was to do more walking. Right. And this isn't going to bode very well for that particular wow. undertaking. We're, I think. We're all, we're in January. He's already struggling to stand, <laughs> let alone walk. Someone get that man a chair. Kingsley once again with a suplex. Jordan is in all kinds of trouble, and Smiley Kingsley going again for a pin and a kick out of two by Jordan. If Kingsley keeps pushing like this, keeps getting these pins, she could get her first points in this premiership. Smartly once again going back over that left leg. And like I said, this could do damage to Jordan further than this match in this premiership. This could hurt his chances going forwards in this tournament. Kingsley's unleashed a furious assault here, Rose, but I mean, she's already spent an enormous amount of energy. That's true, that's true. Goodness me, and Jordan once again reversing the momentum, but that damage on his knee, every move he pulls hurts him in a way. Here's a pin. Kick out of two by Kingsley. I'm sure Jordan wanted to wrap that up there as his leg is doing a lot of damage to his ability to put offense on here. Oh, look at that. That's terrible, Rose. He's just lifted her up while standing on her hair. That's just cheap from Jordan. But I guess that's what we expect from SMS. It's an independent voice, and it's a voice you may not always like, no. but you have to respect it. You've got to respect it, especially what he's done in this tournament, sitting at the top of this block. Going for the Harajuku Hammer here as Kingsley flips over the top and once again that leg. Very smart by Kingsley. As the rest of the merch five minute warning hits, we're halfway through this one. All oh, the nations there doing Bonds' nation call. Whoa, the red thunder bomb. This could be Kingsley's win. A kick out at two. She's doing Bonds' fish into the ankle lock. Goodness me. Shades of Jack J. Bonza. As Jordan's in the middle of the ring. Will Jordan tap? He's got to get to the ropes here at a very valiant break. But no, Kingsley pulls him back. 
Into the middle of the ring, Chris. Gee, I thought he got hold of the rope there, Rose, but not to referee Nick's satisfaction as she now wrenches back on the chin as well. That's doing damage to the back and the knee. Now Jordan is in so much trouble. Oh. Referee Nick right there to see if he taps. Oh, oh. my goodness. She's got him in a modified STF here and he needs to get out quickly as he crawls for the tripod. And now referee Nick, referee Nick has moved the tripod and he has tapped, but Nick is not watching, Chris. Kingsley had her points right there. And referee Nick did not see the tap and Kingsley is adamant he tapped. That tripod is handy in so many ways and so many dimensions, Rose. You saw the tap though, right? Yes, I saw the tap. Thank you. He definitely tapped there and Nick did not see. What do you want to do? Write a letter to referee Nick? Yes. He can't call when he can't see, Rose. Oh my goodness. He has just dropped Kingsley on the back of her head across his knee. Jen now, hey. This is what you got. Jed now as he jaw jacks towards Jen now. The leader of SMS wants to finish this one off. But the shining wizard, no, his knee gives up. And Kingsley rolls through. Here's the pin. A kick out of two by Jordan, that was so close. And there's the Shining Wizard. That's got to be all she wrote for Kingsley. A great effort, but that's got to be the three. There it is. No, the winner of this so match, close. Unsocial Jordan. Chris Unsocial Jordan walks away with another two points, but wow, Kingsley really put in an effort there. Yeah, representing Generation now. Somewhat a bit of frustration reflected from some teammates out there as you saw Rose. But look, Kingsley has to understand that she retains a relevant position in this company from this performance in this premiership. It's going to be hard to think about that though. I can understand she's why she's so angry, right? Yeah, she's frustrated. But really, she's, she's just put in everything, Rose, and it was a terrific performance. And unfortunately, the referee Nick didn't see it. And Unsocial Jordan walks away with another two points. That puts him out right at the top of block A. Who can slow down Unsocial Jordan going into the Premiership Finals? Well, Kingsley did. He's walking off very gingerly there. That's true. That leg has taken bad damage. Keep rolling. What is he doing now? What's he? He can barely walk. Are you serious? This guy. Oh, it's a Jen now shirt. Yeah, he's environmentally conscious, Rose. You don't want you don't want stuff lying around the oh, ring they, like that. The generation now people do not like that. Kingsley with some strong words there as she wants to get some points and next round she will face off against Sam Osborne. Hopefully she has points in this premiership, Chris. Just needs to channel that frustration in the right direction against the prize ball, Sam Osborne, Rose. I feel her pain. Stupid referee, Nick. Is there any ice? Come on. Kingsley, he almost had me, but unfortunately, you were misled by the ways of Generation Now, or the Four Nations, or whatever mess you've gotten yourself into, just like the rest of PWA, really. Another victory means I'm on top with 10 points, which means the only way I can lose my block is if by some fluke, I lose my next match. Mick Moretti, sure, I didn't beat you in the Coliseum, but now you're so wrapped up with Matty Wahlberg, Generation Now, Old Guard, blah, blah, blah. Finally, SMS will rise to the top. So you can either stand 
with S M S or four with P W A. Can I get some help, referees? On social, Jordan rolling forwards. Give me some help! Oh my goodness, he's so angry. No one's helping him. I wonder why. Thank you, referee. The following Nick. contest is scheduled for one fall and is with a 10 minute time limit. Introducing first, making his way to the ring, representing the Velocities, Spartan Spirit, Paris Da Silva. Chris Paris Da Silva joins us again in the PWA Premiership, looking very positive after his break over the holidays and wanting to get back in the winning ways tonight in the tournament. And his opponent. Oh, here we go. Here's a way to spoil Christmas. Oh, that's good. good to see you back. Sunny's indoors. Oh, don't give him a mic. Whoa. Oh, damn it. Feels good to be back. It sure does, Don. Well, well, well. It's Don Marnell, the man who turns cunts into cans. You know, now's usually the time where I'd create some rhyme to turn you into one big joke. But not this time. No, not this time. Because, Paris, you're wrestling's nicest bloke. Now's not the time to create some racket. Now's certainly not the time for us to slip. Because we're two wins away from topping this bracket and three from Sam Osborne's premier ship. <laughs> he really is the poet laureate of the PWA Rose. Fantastic stuff there from Don Marnell. And here comes his charge. We talked about this. This is money, but this. So much more. I'll give it to him. He's confident in his boy, and he has a reason to be Sam Osborne impressing in this premiership. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Don Marnell, representing the Marnell Management Agency, the prize bull, Sam Osborne. Because you get a little glimpse there of some of the talented camera people there behind the scenes. That's Jackson Jess there, shooting the cameras. Also Ben and Tama ringside and the amazing Aiden on sound putting this premiership together. It's great to have the team, the crew back after holidays. And we're back to do this premiership, baby. We're going to do it right here at the Pro Wrestling Academy. A technical crew par excellence, Rose, no doubt about it. The but best in the business, I'd say. Yeah, and trying to become the best in the business is the prize ball, Sam Osborne. And there's no Christmas condition on Sam there from what I can see. You reckon that's eggnog he's drinking? <laughs> Here we go, the confidence of MMA continues on as Sam Osborne sitting at eight points. He'd love to join Unsocial Jordan on 10 here, but Paris De Silva, always the fighter, even though mathematically out of the running to win the Premiership. Oh, yeah. Let me settle this one. You got this? Yeah, I got this. I think they I got I think You know this guy, right? You got this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. I'll get yeah. the beers on ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. ready. Hey, have fun, boy. See yep. you back in about uh, three minutes, eh? Oh, he's sending Don to the back. He's got this. Don is heading to the back confidently. And Osborne wants to do this on his own. That is an interesting move by well, Sam Osborne there, Chris. But he's sending a message to the other competitors in Block A rows who are still in contention. Paris De Silva sadly not being one of them. That uh, he can do this in any which way he wants, Osborne. Yeah. And like we said, even though Paris out of the contention to win this, uh, I think Osborne better be ready for the fact that Paris De Silva is going to fight just like he does every time. Two members of Generation now as well here, Chris. It, that makes you think that maybe Don sent to the back was because of that. He knows these two are going to get along. And as you can see, De Silva, the nicest guy in PWA, according to Don. And, uh, and look at that. There's the Marnell training inside Osborne there, going for a quick pin. And De Silva learned a lesson there, I think. I tell you what, the absence of Marnell from ringside, no difference for referee Xander because Marnell always stays within the boundaries, Rose, and I think this premiership has shown what a class act he is. You cannot be serious, right? He's, in, he's impeded in multiple matches in this tournament I've so far. I've seen no evidence of that. I mean, he's been hit in the face. As Osborne takes control, ground control here of Paris de Silva. Such a fighter, Paris, going through some interesting times with Speed Force and the Velocities. You know they want to get those tag titles they rightfully hold back in their possession. But right now it's all about Paris in this tournament and these two men, these two, two men are two of the absolute best in the way and you can see it right here. That was a gorgeous drop kick by Sam Osborne. 
Paris De Silva felt that one, but you could feel the frustration building. He wants to, wants to get more points in this tournament. And also the chance to stop Osborne's run towards the finals, Chris. It must, must be a big incentive for Paris De Silva here. Well, it's interesting, Rose. I mean, I certainly think Paris would like to see Generation now represented in that Premiership final. Sure. Look at the speed of this by these two men. Osborne trying to get out of these holes. And De Silva, he's just coming a million miles an hour. Yep. As he locked in the throne there, I think Osborne felt that pain immediately. He scouted the throne and got to those ropes so fast. Paris De Silva, king of the throne, and he can put that on you and hurt you quick. Oh, it's like De Silva was drawing a line in the sand there, Rose. This match is on now, I think. Yeah, you can, you can feel both these men. They feel it in this match. That little pace around each other there. And Osborne disrespecting the count of Xander. Oh, and a beautiful kick to the midsection here. Paris in his happy place. Not anymore as Osborne responds with a boot of his own. Off the ropes, both men so quick. Oh, he's caught him there. Oh, and a knee across the back. As De Silva's in a bad spot now. Oh, my goodness, Osborne into the pin. And a kick out at two. That exploder suplex, Chris, almost got him the three count. And Osborne would be up at the top of block A with Unsocial Jordan if that was the case. You know Don would be happy about that. It's an intriguing possibility, Rose, with Unsocial Jordan on top of the table. If he's joined by Osborne and oh, your dear mate Mick Moretti, then you've got three philosophies clashing right at the top. Huge. Here's a pin. And the kick out at two. As we know, there's so many opportunities going forth in these last rounds. We go towards that special final round double episode that we will have. That's going to be an incredible night of wrestling as we find out who are the winners of both blocks. And like you said, Chris, so many opportunities in block A. We haven't even got to block B. That's next week. It's to Silva trying to whip Osborne. Osborne has the strength advantage here in this matchup. But I think De Silva has the speed. Oh, he's caught De Silva again across the back. Oh, and De Silva with the reversal. Where did that come from? Wow, how does De Silva do that? Once again, against the ropes, full speed. Oh my goodness, that clothesline just murdered De Silva. Here's the pin. Amazing that he kicked out of that. He was knocked senseless. Yeah, Osborne using De Silva's major weapon against him, Rose, and that's clever, intelligent wrestling. Mm. The speed of De Silva absolutely hurt him there. Seems like Osborne waits for that opportunity when he hits full speed and catches him, wallops him with a clothesline that shook the entire Pro Wrestling Academy. It's now Osborne stalking his prey from the outside. Such a confident man, Sam Osborne. Such a specimen. Look at that. In the ring, out the ring, in one movement. And now Osborne up top. This is a dangerous spot. Oh, the second rope into a spin. That was insane. He's the pin. A kick out at two by De Silva. That spear was amazing. Is that big fudge out there in the crowd wearing a mask? A mask on a mask, very responsible. You can't wear too many masks in this current situation, Rose. Actually, I think Gladys Berejiklian is uh, going to be doing a public service announcement with Big Fudge when oh, she's back from holidays. That'd be great. As the rest of the match, five-minute warning rings out. Sam Osborne is in control here, hitting uppercuts on De Silva. Don't forget to get involved on Twitter. Hashtag PWA Premiership. Tell us how you feel. We're back. And we're heading towards the finals. Like we said, that final double episode, Chris, the final round is going to be amazing. I, I can't did, wait for that. I did a lot of Christmas shopping at Wrestler Merch, uh, Rose, and What'd many you happy me? patrons. I got you nothing. You got me nothing? Not even a Mick Moretti shirt? And once again, Osborne and De Silva flies out of the corner. Look at this, De Silva just throwing blows into the midsection and the face of Osborne. Oh, the slide, he stops himself on the turnbuckle and kicks Osborne in the head. It's like a movie when you watch the Silver fight. He's amazing. Into the corner with the clothesline. Osborne in big trouble now. He's dazed. He goes again for that clothesline. The Silver under it this time. Spins into a catch. Oh my goodness. Osborne oh, spikes him on his head. He's the pin. Hit the foot Wait, on the rope. Hit his foot on the rope. 
Yes, that's only a two. Good refereeing there. He's caught that. He counted the three, but the foot was on the rope. The referee calls the two and the match continues. Referee Xander all over it like a cheap suit, Rose. Our PWA referees getting it done. Everyone refreshed after the break and ready to push forward into this premiership as De Silva's trying to blow his way out of whatever Osport's got him set up here. He's, he's literally holding on to Osport's waist. Look at this. Wow, this is an interesting dynamic between... I think I've said a, a movie like this once. Wow, the headbutt! The headbutt by De Silva! Into the submission in the middle of the ring! As he gets to the ropes there and breaks the submission. De Silva almost had the two points there. That was a huge break for Sam Osborne to get to the ropes. We're in the back end of this match now, Rose. There's less than three minutes to go, and I don't think a draw is good enough for Osborne. He's got to get the two points here. As De Silva. Oh, the silver flies to the outside! Wow, De Silva flying to the outside. They're taking out Osborne. De Silva is in control here, but Osborne once again grabs the leg on the ropes. Referee Zander's got to break this up. Look out, Don Marnell! Out of nowhere! Takes out De Silva's leg with a chair. What were you saying, Chris? What were you saying? There's the, the knee bar on Osborne. And then De Silva taps. God damn it! The winner of this match, the prize ball, Sam Osborne. Chris Gale, comment? You were just talking about how he doesn't get involved. You, you took my eye towards referee Xander talking to Osborne, Rose, and then um, I'm not sure that anything you, untoward happened there. You cannot tell me you didn't see that. You can with, with the incredible coverage of the PWA camera team, you didn't see that? I am telling you, I didn't see it. I was looking at what Xander was saying to Osborne, and uh, Sam Osborne rolls on. Don Marnell once again gets two points for his boy in dastardly fashion. As we look at the replay here, Paris De Silva, another valiant effort from him, like every match in this tournament, flying to the outside. But here, have a look, Chris. Have a look. Watch this. Watch. Are you watching? Are you watching? What was that? What was that? What was that? I think that's what's known in the wrestling game as a love tap, Rose. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes! Yes! Yes, the method is working. Firstly, we would like to thank PWA for sticking true to their word and keeping referee Nick far, far away from the MMA's business. We are now just one win away from topping the bracket on the way to Sam Osborne's Premiership. What do you think you were doing, huh? Yeah, no, 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 no. Nah, man, you want to talk about being on a team? You want to talk about being on Generation Now and you're going to pull off shit like that? Me pull off shit like that? Huh? What, do you, what do you think Moretti's going to do? What do you think Bonds is to do? What do you mean? Yeah, like even Robbie will do that if you make, if you make him. If this goes that far, they're willing to do what it takes to win, and you need to be too. So, so I'm gonna stick to your level to get to our. No, you yeah? need to cut the nice guy bullshit because we're not gonna win a war like that. Don't kid yourself, Paris. You're in a war. Let's go. Learn. Come on. You need to learn. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Thanks, buddy. The following contest is a singles match scheduled. 4-1-4. It will be contested under a 10 minute time limit. Introducing first. Chris, I mean, that's some strong words to say to Paris there, but he's not necessarily wrong, is he? Life lessons there from Sam Osborne for Paris and Silver Rose, and it's a war. Well, I'm gonna stop being so nice to you because we're in a war. And William Preston returns to the Premiership, well rested over his break. Making his way to the ring from the University of New South Wales, William Preston! Chris, did that say Kai Drake is a sneaky snake? I thought Don Marnell was the right well, guy. I, I was going to say, first of all, if it did, Preston is no Marnell. Secondly, <laughs> the, as great as the PWA camera work is, it's hard to catch his Preston's opponent. signs. It really is. <laughs> he's quick with it. He's not steady. Oh, he's a, you know, he's a college guy. My, my hands were shaking in uni too. <laughs> Well, there it is, the belt. It's 
Now, surely if you've got the belt yeah. over multiple years, no, it's yours. You didn't win it. The tag team belt proudly held there by Kydra. Exactly right. Ah. Uh, and here comes the principal resting with Kai Drake. Accompanied to the ring by Michael Spencer, representing MK Plus Ultra, Dragonheart, Kai Drake. Kai Drake entering the Pro Wrestling Academy in the Premiership to do more damage. Accompanied by Michael Spencer. Those belts that are not rightfully theirs. Severely hampered Michael Spencer, so he won't be a factor heroes. So anyway, Kai Drake reminds me a little bit of myself. He seems to have a lot of voices going on in his head, fighting yeah. internal battles. I'd love to hear those voices. I'd like to get as psyched up as Kai Drake does before a match. As I said, pro oh, look at, pro <laughs> look at Spencer. Just prodding Preston with his walking stick, his crutches. Well, he wants to get a look at the sign. Do you think Kai Drake will find that funny? Has anyone ever seen Kai Drake laugh? No, Kai Drake's just ready to hurt. I think he sees it, William. Oh, no, he, yeah. <laughs> I, I reckon Kai can read. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. I like that. I like that strategy. If I ever see a side I don't like, I eat. Oh, oh, no. oh, 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 he's choked. Medic. He's choked Can on a piece a of our Preston. Oh, the Preston saved him. Hoocha. Hoocha. Come on. Oh, there, oh, there it is. Wow. We just saw a man got his life saved. We've seen everything in this premiership. That's a terrific move by Preston. He saved his life, plus he got a competitive advantage out of it. Yeah. By crushing his ribcage. I mean, he could have taken an easy two points there, but he decided against it. Wow, it's Preston. Drops Kai Drake face first. Here's the pin. A one count. I think Kai Drake's seeing his whole life flash before his eyes. We've all been there. Good catch by Drake. He's a walk on by Preston. Kai Drake might only be on three points, Rose, but he certainly leads this premiership in terms of punishment experience. Oh, I think. yeah. If you were graded on how much punishment you dished out, he'd be in first place easy. Preston, beautiful stuff by Preston into the cross body. Here's a pin. He got it too by Kai Drake. This is a more assertive, confident William Preston I think we're seeing, Rose. Well, it, we saw it with Kingsley as well, uh, excuse me, before in the earlier match. I think everyone's come off this break over Christmas and New Year's stronger than we've seen them before that, right? And I don't think we can emphasize enough the value of the experience some of these wrestlers are accumulating by being in this extraordinary tournament, Rose. Absolutely, Chris. And, and Pre William Preston is a great example of that. I think he's grown leaps and bounds in this tournament, or as he has words with Spencer. Wow. <laughs> They're telling him to come closer and Kai Drake gets the distraction and now takes it out on Preston. It's amazing what Spencer can do even while he's in crutches. Even while he's injured, he can do so much damage on the outside. It's Preston sent into the corner post there and Kai Drake once again goes back to what he does best, dishing out punishment in this premiership. I'm surprised though, Rose, if Michael Spencer's the prince of wrestling that he has to use crutches. I would have thought he'd have some sort of consort yeah. in a chair or something like that to transport him around. Yeah, that costs stuff. It's a pin by Kai Drake. Preston valiantly kicks out at two. He's taking a lot of damage on the outside there. But yeah, Preston, someone who's really learned from this premiership. I think Kingsley is going to learn a lot from this premiership. I don't know if Kai Drake's going to learn anything. He just dishes punishment out to people, whether it's a tournament or not. He's just a dangerous, dangerous man, and we'd love to have him in PWA as both men block the chops there. Ouch! That's got to hurt. Oh, does he go for the circle game? Oh, he's going to go the nipple cripple. Oh, no. Kai Drake caught it. Oh, he's bitten him on the nip. Oh, my goodness. That took me straight back to New Year's Eve this oh, year, right? The German into the pin. And the kick out of two by, by Preston. He's feeling that. On the, uh, is there is there a more is a more intelligent term I can use than nipple? Is no, no, it? that pretty much covers it. <laughs> okay. but, uh, he's bit him on the nipple. He's got a bit of minor areoli damage there, I think. <laughs> but at least he's got one good one left. Oh, and there goes the other one. As that chop has just sent it.
into the second row. How good is it to be back in the Pro Wrestling Academy as well? Looking gorgeous for the Premiership. And Kai Drake ready to deal out more damage. Here he comes. Wow, that kick to the face. Preston could be out. As he tries to get some distance from Kai Drake here. He knows Drake will stalk you and then hurt you. Not necessarily in that order. Probably not enough mouth work in wrestling, but Kai Drake is certainly pioneering all sorts of stuff here, Rose. He's a biter. Yep. And an eater. <laughs> As the blows come blow for blow here on the apron. Kai Drake adjusting his head. Going back for more. He just seems to love this. He feels alive in these moments. Man was born to strike. Oh, Preston using the top rope smartly there. Across the throat. And he goes up to the top here. This is dangerous. Look out, Preston. Over the top, rolls through. Oh, and a huge lap and a huge clothesline. Preston, of course, sees no difference between those two moves. No. Sometimes hard to call in PWA with everyone moving at full speed. Goes for the second Bulldog and Kai Drake is in big trouble now. Preston had some glorious... Another neck, a neck breaker there, excuse me, by William Preston. Here's the pin. And a kick out of two right on the rest of the merch. Five minute warning there, Chris. We're halfway through this one. And William Preston is impressing me. You'd be forgiven for thinking this was for the top of the table, Rose. The amount of endeavour and effort and enthusiasm that these wrestlers are bringing to this contest. But it won't affect their ability to progress in the Premiership because they're both yeah, in the lower true. half of the draw. That's very true. The points take them out of the system. But like we said in this tournament, it's a learning experience all these rounds. And these two men striking here. He's only going to make them tougher in the process. Kai Drake with more blows. Kai go for the Michinoku driver there, but Preston over the back. Preston takes control here. And once again, he's going to go up top. That's the West Coast pop by Preston. Huge off the top. Oh, and almost a wow. three by Preston. That was very, very close. You can see the frustration in Preston. I think frustration has been a key word for him through this tournament. I mean, he was nanoseconds away from a three count there, Rose. That would have been huge for him. Spencer has a quick word with Kai Drake. I think it's get up. Yeah, you don't, fight. You don't really have conversations with Kai. No, it's just get just up. Just exchange concepts. But Preston has been frustrated. He's thinking about the schoolboy. Is he thinking about the schoolboy? He's going to go for it. Preston is going to go for the schoolboy. If Kai Drake lets go of these ropes, he is done for. Nobody kicks out of the schoolboy. And he's grabbed the ref. He's grabbed the ref. Is that a ladder? Oh, and Spencer with the crutch. On oh, the super kick. And Preston's in big trouble now. Another blow to the head. And now the elbows just come raining in. Preston is in so much trouble. And Xander calls it. He's out. The winner of this match by referee stoppage, Kai Drake. Kai Drake has pounded Preston into oblivion. And Smiley, referee Xander calls a stoppage before any real permanent damage was done to Preston. Hopefully he's okay. Tell you, Rose, tripods, chairs, crutches. There's a bit of a theme here today in Block A. Well, people want points. People want to get victorious, and they have plans. They've had time to scheme. Sam Osborne would suggest it's grown up wrestling, Rose. Oh, goodness. It's Kai Drake looking for directions to the exit, I think. Poor people trying to socially distance and Kai Drake <laughs> screaming Next! at them. Next! He's got Paris De Silva in his sights for the final round, I think. And that'll be an interesting one. And now, PWA final round double episode. That should be a hell of a matchup. As MK Plus Ultra walk away once again victorious. Kai Drake is the biggest freeloader in professional wrestling. Wow. First, he has to rely on everyone else in life and in the ring. He proved that tonight when Michael Spencer was the result of his victory. 
I know what some people at home are saying. Maybe if you had Jimmy out there, tonight would have been different. But this tournament means to me, it means about going it on my own. Me and Jimmy talked about that. We agreed about that. And Kai Drake just cheated to win. Wow, Preston clearly unhappy about the result there. But as we look forward to the final round, special double episode season finale, Paris De Silva and Kai Drake could go up in one of the classics of this tournament, Chris. Kai Drake freeloading off Michael Spencer Rose. It suddenly makes me think that uh, Drake and Spencer are a bit like you and me. No, stop it. Wait, one more. Talk! Okay, I'll talk. I'm back. Look, it doesn't... You may have won, but the points didn't really matter, did it? We proved the point to ourselves. That Knock we can... out! Ref! Yes, knocked him out. But hey, let's knock out Paris next. Paris! Ref! Damn. Can you imagine them going on a long drive together? The conversations they'd have. You know he's a debating champion at high school, Kai Drake. <laughs> no one wanted to give him a loss. Now this is one hell of a main event here in this round of the Premiership. Moretti and Charlie Evans going one on one in our main event. This is huge implications for the top of Block A table. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. And has a 10 minute time limit. Introducing first. Bringing out to Jack there, calling out Charlie Evans in this Making main event. Her way to the ring. What a Hailing tournament she's from had. From Sydney, Australia. Representing Part of the, the Medusa, Medusa complex. complex, Charlie Evans! We're so, so honoured and so privileged to have her here in Australia as part of the Premiership Tournament. She has been incredible, Chris. Total revelation, Rose. Total revelation. And her opponent. Chris, if you want to have a real discussion about who's a real threat in this block, you're about to look at him. Get a Christmas card from him, Rose? Because you sent him one, didn't you? He just smushed his Making face on the card. Way to the ring, hailing from somewhere in Australia, the leader of the Green Nation, the Rapscallion, Mick. Ready. This is a man who has gone through distractions in this premiership and has looked strong throughout. I honestly, I know I'm a bit biased towards my boy Moretti, but who can stop this man in this premiership, Chris? Well, I suggest that Charlie Evans might stop him right here, Rose. And I have to say, this is a match I've been looking forward to all tournament. Yeah. Now it's probably as exciting a moment as we've seen in this premiership. Well, you know both of these competitors have had their Christmas and New Year's. Don't even get me started on what a Christmas with Mick Moretti would look like. And look at that, Charlie Evans straight at him. Moretti knows what she's capable of. He likes it. He likes the aggressiveness. He's just playing with her at the moment. <laughs> Come on, how do you not love the guy? Bizarre hijinks. It just sort of appeals to your mentality. Charlie's getting annoyed. You can already see. I'm annoyed with her. The time's running down already, and Moretti's loving this. The rope break. Oh, Charlie kicks the arm off. She's had enough of this. Goes into the pin. Look out. Oh, that was close. Moretti could have caught, be caught with his pants down right there. It's Charlie's technical ability shining here as she rolls through to another pin. That's gorgeous. The kick out at two by Moretti. So quick, so quick. Oh, the strength. Oh, Charlie Evans into another pin. Moretti is stunned. Yes, get out of there, son. I think he's a little bit surprised by that. I've heard a lot of people at PWA talk about, you know, you know what you're in for when you get into a ring with Charlie Evans, but then you get in there and it's never what you expect. It's even worse. She comes out with you. She comes at you so fast. It's a striking machine. The thing about Charlie Evans, Rose, she just wants to wrestle. So why can't Moretti just get in there and wrestle? 
Moretti's one point ahead of her in the tournament. This is good strategy. What are you talking about? He's going to run this clock down. He's going to take his time. No, no. See, I mean, this is smart. I think this is smart. He's taking his time, making his opponent make the first move. <laughs> yeah, I agree. She's taking too long out there. Goes for the elbow drop. Charlie moves. She's just got to pick her spot here, Chris. She's got to be smart against someone who was so unpredictable in that ring. Oh, no. He's just toying with her now. Whoa. Swing and a miss. But, how, I mean, how do you deal with this? How do you deal with someone that approaches a ring like this? You clean their clock, Rose. And that's Screw. exactly what Charlie Evans will attempt to do here. Oh, she's caught him there. The double boots into the back. And now she sends it straight back to Moretti. I love that. Charlie wishing Mick a happy new year there. Moretti falling for his own trick there and runs, goes to the ropes and Charlie catches him with the forearm. That's my thing, he says. <laughs> yeah, he, doesn't like, he doesn't like plagiarism. I don't think you can trademark the middle finger. It he's, could be worth like a crack, but I don't think you can do it. He's a little known fact about Moretti, he's big on copyright law. He's going to take it serious now. Okay. okay, we're four minutes into this match and Moretti... <laughs> Excuse me, three minutes, and he decides to take it seriously. And here come the blows. This might have been a mistake taking a match seriously with Charlie. As I think he just felt that. Oh, God. He wants more? Ow. Okay, that's enough. What is wrong? What is wrong with this man? He knows it's Charlie Evans kicking him, right? He's the pin by Charlie. He is unhinged, Mick Moretti. Unhinged. It's an interesting word you choose to describe in there, Rose. As we know, Generation Now really sparked him up at the beginning of this tournament, but I just feel this overall vibe from Moretti now. Like he is walking his own path more than I think we've ever seen him before. He's, he's hungry for this tournament. I, I sense every move is thought through and calculated, and he's more hinged than my stamp collection. I think this is... You think it's absolutely Moretti 101 going on here. You think it's premeditated? The whole thing's mapped out and planned. You think that was mapped out and planned? <laughs> I think it's premeditated. <laughs> he used to be in a kick out of two as Charlie survives. He's going to kick my ass for that one, I'm sure of that. He's back in control. He's trying to get that ankle again. We just saw him do so much damage on that right ankle of Charlie Evans. And smartly, she tries to get that space. As he comes flying in, Charlie moves. Check the legs. Oh no, he's fallen on that leg again. We've seen him wafer a couple times and that might have done some serious damage. Chris, we're seeing a lot of leg injuries tonight, which can be a real issue for the final round. And she's caught him in the ankle lock. That is so smart. As he back heels his way out of that, it's a wrestler match, five minute warning rings out. At the Pro Wrestling Academy, Charlie Evans goes back to kicking Moretti in the back as hard as I can tell. He can take a lot of punishment. But don't you feel that's what Moretti does? He, he needs that, that, that barometer of the punishment in order to get him to where he needs to go? I think him and Kai Drake are kindred spirits like that, right? They, they like a good punch in the face to get him going. But he, he might have taken a bit too much damage, especially that leg, and another pin here by Charlie. I believe in part, this is why he wrestles, to receive this sort of treatment. I think you're right. I think you're right. Let's try to get away from that ankle lock again, smartly. Sends Charlie Evans into the turnbuckle, head first, and he finally has that space. He can maybe shake out that leg a bit. Pain seems to confuse him. Oh, they've grabbed each other's legs here, both with the same idea. Oh, goodness. Great minds think alike. What do you say? Oh, goodness. Who's going to tap? This is crazy. So, so one of them might tap at any moment. Oh, my goodness. Charlie Evans now with the advantage. That leg of Moretti's is damaged. Again, Rose, Charlie Evans has to win, but Moretti can't afford to lose. That's a great way of putting it. Only one point separates them, and they're sitting at the top there. A must win for Charlie. 
and it would be a huge blow to Moretti as easy. But they both break at the same time. This is incredible. These two athletes almost mirroring each other in this match. Maybe Charlie's a little bit unhinged. As they both make it to their feet, but both feeling the strain on their legs there. Forearm by Moretti and Charlie is down. She might be out of energy. Yeah, defeat for Evans eliminates her from the Premiership Rose. So we don't want to see that. She has three minutes to find the ferocity she's now delivering to the skull of Mick Moretti. And Mick Moretti can just run this clock again if he wants to. But it's hard to get away from these strikes. Oh, that headbutt by Moretti. Oh, the kick in his corner! The kick! And his corner in the knee bar! The leg bar! Charlie needs to get to these ropes, Chris. Like you said, she needs a win here to survive and the break as Charlie Evans once again survives in this premiership. How good is this? Let us know on Twitter. Hashtag Pinaway Premiership. Here's a pin. The small package kicked out of by two by Moretti. Oh, that super kick and Moretti is down. Here's the pin, Charlie Evans. And a kick out just before the three. I thought that was it. Two minutes left in this match. Charlie Evans in control. Moretti with the pin now. Oh, in his corner. The winner of this match by way of pinfall, Mick Moretti. Moretti has caught her in the last moments. Heartbreak for Charlie Evans in that one moment. Moretti catches her with the weight and gets the pin. Her leg's too damaged to get out of it. Moretti continues on at the top of block A and heartbreak, Chris, for Charlie Evans. I'm shattered, Rose. That sees the end of the PWA Premiership for Charlie Evans. Charlie, I salute you. What a magnificent performance you provided, and I know you'll give everything in the final round. Absolutely. So sad that you'll be departing from the Premiership. And Chris, I know a nice show of respect there from Moretti going for the fist bump. That's great sportsmanship. And you also saw Don Minnell kind of walk out of the end there. A bit unhappy that his boy Osborne is at the top with Moretti. He wanted a clear sailing into that final round. But I know it's going to be quite the block A final round in that special episode as Moretti walks, limps away with another two points. That was my last chance to win this tournament. And I know that I'm really, really, really good at wrestling, but I wasn't good enough just then. For sake. Clearly unhappy from that result, but she's 100% right. A valiant effort in this premiership. And coming up in the final round, the double episode, Charlie Evans will face off against William Preston. William Preston getting some confidence in this tournament. It might be kicked out of him real quickly in that final round, Chris. Absolutely, Rose. Ow. 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 In case you missed it, ow. <laughs> Round of applause for Charlie Evans. Round of applause for Charlie Evans. That, that's how someone earns something. Jevons brought it. She brought it to the big dog, the top of the food chain. She made me work hard. Someone who's traveled the world and her way up. That's the kind of thing that we're looking for. The irony of what we've done with Jen now. It's the beast we created, isn't it? We gave them everything. We ironically turned them into the spoiled shits that they are. Take a page out of Chevin's books, guys. Someone who started similar time to you, and she earned her own fucking way. That's me. That puts me back on top. Top of the food chain, at the top of the bracket. One more win, baby. One more win. If I can eliminate these gen now fools, and who will I meet on the other side? Will it be you, Maddie? Will it? Is it time yet? <laughs> I'm still hungry. Moretti's prophecy of winning this premiership continues on. And in the final round season finale, what a hell of a matchup 
Two men sitting at the top of Block A. Unsocial Jordan and Mick Moretti will face off. Chris, this could decide who gets it through in Block A. I can only agree with you, Rose. Your analysis is spot on yet again. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us for another round of the PWA Premiership as we take a look at Block A as it sits after that round. Mick Moretti, Unsocial Jordan and Sam Osborne all sitting on 10 points. Charlie Evans with 7 points. Kai Drake with 5. Paris De Silva with 4. William Preston with 2. And Kingsley still yet to score. Chris, next week, Block B, and then we head to the final round season finale. How exciting is that going to be? To strap me in, Rose, we're heading to the pointy end of the Premiership, and that's the end of the Premiership that I love the most. Thanks, everyone, for joining us for another episode of the PWA Premiership, and we will see you next week. Oh.